Hello again. Now, it's about as far away from Ravens Creek as most people could imagine. But a group of plucky high school pupils are getting ready to travel to Greenland. Led by Scottish explorer Craig Matheson, the teenagers will trek through some of the harshest conditions on Earth during the trip next year. Well, Craig joins us now, along with Rhiannon Walker, who'll be making the trip to the top of the world. Thanks very much to both of you for joining us on STV Glasgow. Craig, first of all, just tell us, how did this expedition come about? Uh, it was came about from years of speaking to schools really and seeing a, a group of children who are essentially invisible in our education system uh, speaking to them and discovering they've got fantastic aspirations but maybe not the confidence to pursue that uh, I'm good at leading expeditions uh, and I know that the polls change people they, they give them confidence and ins inspiration as well so this expedition is really about taking 10 of those kids up to Greenland next year bringing them back and then sending them out to other schools to inspire their peers. And Rhiannon, you know, when Craig first came to your school, what was your first, you know, what did you think about first of all when he came in to see you guys? When he came in and done the talk, I'm like, this guy's mad, how has he done this? And then once he said he's taking pupils with him, I was just like, I need to get myself involved in this. And here I am today. And you've done things like this before. Just briefly tell us what other expeditions you've done. Uh, I've done a few military trips, uh, but I led the first Scottish expedition to the South Pole. Uh, took a young lad to the North Pole in 2006, which was a fantastic expedition. Kayak down Greenland and various Arctic expeditions over the year. But this is going to be the most special one, I think. Excellent. Well, we'll hear both of you from both, more from both of you in just a second. But first of all, our reporter Matty Sutton has been finding out how preparations have been getting underway. Taking the first steps on a very long journey, these youngsters are preparing for the trip of a lifetime. Next April, they will travel more than 2,000 miles to trek for two weeks to the top of the world. Well, I'm really nervous. Uh, like, see if we can do it or not. A lot of motivation. There's yeah. no shortage of that. <laughs> it's just so good because it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity and you wouldn't expect it to happen. I'm cold in the house, so I don't know what I'm going to be like. <laughs> Guiding them on the expedition is Arctic old hand Craig Matheson. He led the first Scottish expedition to the South Pole in 2004 and now he wants to share the polar experience. It's completely full on. It's not a bubble wrap trip at all. It's a proper polar expedition. Uh, so we don't babysit anyone. They'll be doing all their own navigation, cooking all their own uh, rations. We're just there to make sure that everything's done safely. Ten teenagers from two schools will take the trip, the first time Scottish pupils have visited Greenland. They will fly to Reykjavik in Iceland before catching a small plane to the island of Kulusuk. From there they will travel by helicopter to pick up their sledges ready to ski due north. Everyone have their own sledge and they'll be skiing, dragging the sledge behind them up through mountain passes, over sea ice, skiing at night underneath the northern lights. This is going to be a magical trip past mountains are not even named yet. So a, a truly life-changing trip they're going on. Well, we're delighted to support the, the kids and the young people that are doing this trip. Um, it's an amazing opportunity, once in a lifetime. Uh, it's going to be pushing them to their limits in terms of their f physical capabilities. They're going to be operating in some severe conditions, obviously, uh, testing themselves physically, mentally, and uh, hopefully they'll be learning a lot uh, on that journey as well. With just four months to go until they swap North Lanarkshire for the North Pole, it's time for these youngsters to knuckle down. Matty Sutton, STV News. Now, Craig, not obviously every child could be involved in this. How did you go about choosing the group that was going to be going with you? That was really difficult. We started at approximately 500 and we had to get that down to 20 yeah, to go in for a selection weekend. So we're sitting down with, with teachers and people support and basically going through. And it's the 20 we decided on aren't the 20 who we thought would be best at it, it's the 20 who we knew would benefit most by going on this expedition. Uh, because what we want them to do, obviously, is when they come back, is to inspire their peers. I mean, these guys, there's 10 of them, are going to speak to 24,000 high school kids when they get back about it. And obviously, it's a physical challenge as well, and it's the Ravens Craig yeah. um, sports facility that yes. you're using. Now, what kind of physical challenges are you having to go through to get ready for the expedition next year? For training, we've been doing a lot of body strength, 
building your body strength, obviously pulling your sledge and everything. And it's endurance training as well. You've just got to not push yourself that wee bit further. And do you have to be quite physically fit, Craig? Anyone can do this. Uh, we start uh, with sort of zero level fitness and just build everyone up. I say any can, can do this. You've just got it's the, the, my, the right mental preparation to do it. That, that's the important thing. But anyone physically can do this kind of thing. And what kind of um, do you think the kids will get mentally out of it? As you say, is there something that the a sense of achievement? Is that yeah, the main thing? Absolutely. I mean, it's um, all the barriers that they've got in their head will be blown away. Uh, they'll, they'll, they'll go out there and do whatever they want to do afterwards when they get back. And this is the whole purpose of it. It's just to show them that they can do anything they uh, put their minds to in life, but also instil that confidence into their peers when they get back as well. And as far as the actual expedition goes, what kind of physical and mental challenges will there be along the way? Oh, as expeditions are generally the same, no matter if you've got a complete novice or a seasoned pro. It starts off with uh, fear and anxiety. Uh, that quickly goes and it turns to enjoyment about where they are and just the stunning location we're going to, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, then that turns into another type of fear near the end, the, the fear of it's going to be over soon. Uh, but then you, you're on a high for the rest of your life with it. Uh, you, this area we're going in Greenland will change it, everyone that, that goes out. It'll be a truly life-changing experience, uh, which will never, ever leave them. And Rhiannon, what are you most looking forward to about the trip? The whole experience, just working as a team, getting there, just seeing magical scenery, everything about it. And can you imagine yourself when you're back next year? Do you hope? What do you hope has changed? Um, I'm not too sure what's hope has changed. Um, just that I'm confident, a lot more confident, and I know myself that I can do things. Is confidence key, Craig? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, uh, much more important than physical ability. Uh, and just getting that, and we've been working on that. We've had them up in the Cairn Goms for a week uh, doing that. So I've seen the confidence levels quickly build up, uh, which has been great to, to see. They're, they're different kids already, they haven't even set foot in ice. So they're going to be unstoppable by the time they get back. It's going to be really great. And what have been your personal highlights from previous expeditions that you've done? Uh, definitely the, the, the second I saw the South Pole after dragging a sledge across Antarctica for two months uh, and seeing that little black dot on the horizon. Uh, I'd been wanting to see that since I was 12 years old. That's when I decided to become an explorer. Uh, and that was very emotional, uh, doing that and just getting to the pole uh, was just great. And I think about that moment every single day uh, and the effort it took and the achievement. And when people say things are hard, things are difficult, it's just you've got to put it in perspective uh, and just crack on with it and do what you want to do anyway. So, Rhiannon, how can the other children in your school get involved in, in what you're doing? Um, they can help us along the way. They can... Can they help you or are they just, um, are they part of it as well or are they, um, are yeah, they they're supporting part, they're you? And, supporting us yeah, all the way, yeah, definitely. Great. great. So finally Craig then, we've got a couple yeah. of months to go until April. What's the kind of schedule? How are things panning out until then? Uh, everything's going to be ramped up again after Christmas. I want them to relax over Christmas and eat as many selection boxes as possible. That sounds good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah diet isn't a problem at all. And then after Christmas it, it's endurance training. They'll be dragging tyres over the countryside building up those stomach muscles and back muscles uh, and getting to grips with the actual mechanics of expeditions, putting tents up fast, being able to cook with petrol stoves, preparing food, all the safety aspects of it, just getting fully up to speed with it. So when we get there, we're a very slick professional team. Well, Craig and Rhiannon, best of luck with everything. Thank you so much Thanks for coming so in. No problem. Thank, Thank you. you.